bringing another legacy escalation your way the Adrian Eclipse this time in Paris we're gonna start undercover as the tech crew Direct him right over to this corner over here. Hmm. Wait until the guard by the stairs looks away. You go. Can do. Shoot him in the back with an elimination. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. Run straight downstairs from here to the cellar for the exit. Level 2, we'll have that guy enter the mix. Also have to kill him with a pistol. Still start as the tech crew. We'll do the same thing with this guy coming in the door here. he's going to investigate that coin we can come out here and throw another coin for that guy to investigate yeah you the man kill him run back out and kill the other guy and just run to the exit hey, let me stop you right there since the only person that would find the body of the bodyguard would have been that auction staff guy that we just killed, so we don't have to worry about hiding any bodies. And now it gets really fun. We have to hold the pistol in our hand at all times, and whenever we put it away, we have a seven second timer to re equip it. Uh, wow. Never knew this. Luckily, we can spend most of our time out of sight of anybody here, anyways. Do the same thing, distract him, distract the second guy out here, and run back and kill him with the pistol, and then run out and kill the other guy with the pistol. Shut that door on your way out so those guards don't see anything happening. Running through this room, obviously, there's less guards, less traffic, so you can have your pistol in your hand. And now we have to kill the targets within 30 seconds of each other, so this gets extra fun now. And we cannot equip a security guard or bodyguard disguise. Which we weren't doing that anyway, so whoop de doo
So we'll do the same routine here one more time. It's going to be a little different for level 5. Alright, so now instead of killing these guys with a pistol, the bodyguard has to have a falling object and the auction staff has to have an explosion accident. So that pretty much means propane can. And we must do both of those things within 30 seconds of each other. So in this loadout, I'm going to bring the micro remote taser and the seeker. Start as the chef so we can just run up the stairs and grab the suitcase really quick with our seeker in it. And this way also, this is way different than what we could have done in 2016, but we can carry our briefcase with a propane tank in it and have our pistol in our hand at the same time. So we don't have to carry a propane tank and keep dropping it every five seconds to take out our pistol again. Stuff that in the briefcase. We can whip out our pistol and be good to go to run all the way upstairs without any kind of messing around. And once we get up here, let's knock out this tech crew and take his disguise. Just so we're not trespassing and having a gun in our hands at the same time. And the auction staff guy should already be upstairs, so just kind of hang out right here for a minute. Flip-flop your pistol in and out. And let's shoot these two guards in front of the stairs with the seeker. That'll get them out of the way so we can kind of set up for the auction staff kill. Falling object we'll use will be the chandelier in the same room. So make sure you kept your briefcase with you. Let's take our propane can out of the briefcase. We're going to throw it right up here in the middle of the floor at the top of the short staircase. And we can leave the briefcase right there. That'll be right underneath the chandelier. And the bodyguard will be distracted by that. Put our micro remote taser right next to our propane can. Make sure you throw it and not place it so the gas leaks out. And they should be meeting up in here at the perfect time. Bodyguard will be walking back in here and the auction staff guy will be coming back downstairs. Now he has noticed the briefcase. Auction staff guy isn't quite where we need him to be so let's just go ahead and knock this guy out really quick. And now blow up our micro remote taser and propane tank combo. Let's shoot the chandelier chain. And there we go. 
Try to get out of the way of those guards coming in as fast as possible after they hear that explosion. Now we can run down to the cellar exit just like usual. Central, do you copy? I'm at the location now and I have nothing to report over. That will be it for the Adrian Eclipse. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, requests, or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you liked this video and found this video helpful, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy the content that I produce and want to keep up with any future videos or projects that I'm working on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.